MCU continues its exponentially expanding universe with Kamala Khan, a teenager who became a superhero known as Ms. Marvel. I got a chance to watch it, was it any good? You will soon find out in my review for Ms. Marvel. Before we begin, I would like to request you guys to please hit the subscribe button, it will mean a lot and plenty of other content is coming up including the reviews for Lightyear and Umbrella Academy Season 3, so stay tuned. This has been a subject of controversy because the power of Ms. Marvel shown here are nothing like the comics. Yes. The powers of Ms. Marvel in the comics are difficult to translate to live action, I agree with that. But then, how can we trust them to handle Reed Richards in the future Fantastic Four film? I think Marvel should have stuck with her original power set from the comics. The powers shown here are glorious visually, but they are such a ripoff of Green Lantern. Ms. Marvel just looks like Purple Lantern with these powers. This was more aggressive on Marvel's side. Green Lantern is an iconic character that fans would have loved to see in the future. Well, whenever DC decides to move ahead with their adaptation of the character. But showing a Green Lantern ripoff prior of DC showing Green Lantern is their, in their own project just steals something from the general comic book movie fans from that iconic debut. Hats off to Marvel for bringing more and more diversity into their universe. They chose to expand into the Muslim culture with this one and they do it pretty good and pretty successfully, as far as I know, pretty accurately. They hired a Pakistani girl to play a Pakistani superhero and Iman Vellani was a good choice. I don't know any actors from that country, so I can't say that some other actors would have done a better job. Iman Vellani reminds me a lot of Haley Steinfeld from Hawkeye. Like it is way too much like Haley Steinfeld. Overall she does a pretty good job. Not great, but pretty good. The plot introduces us to Kamala Khan, a 16 year old Pakistani American growing up in Jersey City, a great student, an avid gamer, and a voracious fan fiction scribe. She has a special affinity for superheroes, particularly Captain Marvel. But Kamala struggles to fit in at home and at school. That is, until she gets superpowers like the heroes she's always looked up to. Life is easier with superpowers, right? And the answers to that is, well, not right, as we have seen in like a lot of the other superhero movies, including Shazam. We have seen a movie like this early in the year from Disney itself called Turning Red. There are way too many similarities, like are we sure both are not the same thing? Anyways, the plot of this show is not as seriously considered as a lot of other Marvel Disney Plus shows. It is much more concentrated in developing the character of Ms. Marvel, which it do successfully, and hence the plot itself does not get as interesting as it should have been. So as far as the question goes whether this is the next WandaVision and Loki or the next Hawkeye, it is leaning towards Hawkeye. Ms. Marvel is a nice new addition to the MCU when it comes to expanding its boundaries and bringing in more diversity and varying cultures into its area. Iman Vellani's Kamala Khan is a nice hero but I prefer they should have stuck to the comics with the, her powers. The writing is great but the plot never interests me. Overall I would give Ms. Marvel a 6.5 out of 10. It is better than Hawkeye at least but it will fall into the same tier. So I think at least you should check it out, you might like it more than I did. But for me it's like a show that I want to be re-watching many times. So yeah, that was my review for Ms. Marvel. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.